Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Cash Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. Today, I'm going to talk about how fun it is to fight in Skyrim. It's very fun. I love it. And I think, you know, as someone who has played more Oblivion than Skyrim, and experienced more Oblivion than Skyrim, I can say that I think Skyrim, by far, by far, has a superior combat system to Oblivion. And I think the combat in Skyrim goes from tedious and boring in Oblivion to fun in Skyrim. Now let me explain. Sky Oblivion has a very slow-paced combat system, but it also has a very defined meta where if you don't follow that meta, it can get very boring playing Oblivion, right? Just block, hit, block, hit, or if you have a claymore or hammer, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, right? I feel like in, Sky or in Oblivion, all I'm doing is running around hitting people, you know, lining them up. The AI is definitely better in Skyrim, let me tell you. But in Skyrim, you know, you have the option of dual wielding, the option of archery. Archery is way more viable in Skyrim. Or you have the one, the sword and shield. I, I call it sword and shield, I understand there's axe mace, you know. Or combining different types of magic as boring as it sometimes is. You know, there's many different ways of playing Skyrim in the combat system. Whereas Oblivion, like I said, is just sword and shield and either bow or fireballs or lightning bolts you know so i really just it's fun to fight in skyrim that's my main thing is it's just fun to do combat i find that you know when you play oblivion enemies like bandits and marauders start to become very easy and in skyrim they become easy but they're also kind of challenging because on Skyrim, I'm level 36, okay? I'm a little bit higher than the character I have made in Oblivion. And in Skyrim, if there's five enemies and I don't take care of them with my dual-wielding character, I'm screwed, right? Because I have low health, high stamina to do high DBS, but if I don't deal with it right, if I don't have accuracy with my dual-wield power attacks, if I don't fight them properly, I'm gonna die. In Oblivion, you can fight, like, five bandits and be fine. At least so it seems. Both games, by the way, I play on the normal difficulty. So I find that fighting is fun in Skyrim because there's always a way to lose. There's always, it seems like there's always a way for you to lose, you know? And it's always there more than you would expect in a game like Oblivion. In Oblivion, you fight and you're kind of like, okay, I might lose to this guy. I'm kind of like you know, threatened, you know, everything's less threatening. Whereas in Oblivion, or Skyrim, you know, there's a dragon. Even though you're like level 36, you can still die to a dragon if you're an idiot with a dragon, right? Like, I still watch my stamina bar. I still keep an eye on it. I still make sure I buy potions. In Skyrim, if there's five, like I said, five bandits, I'm gonna die if I don't deal with them fast enough, right? So you really, it takes, a level of understanding, you're like, do I understand my character enough? Do I have the tools to get out of this situation without dying? I don't have to ask myself that question all the time in Oblivion. In fact, in Oblivion, my character has so, so much potion stuff that I don't have to worry about my health, I don't have to worry about my stamina, or fatigue, because like, I have like 40 restore health potions, I have an infinite number of respite potions. Whereas in Skyrim, I have a limited number of stamina and health potions. Well, maybe not so much health, but definitely stamina, because I use them a lot. And I, like, don't have enchanted weapons yet, because I am i didn't deal with enchanting, right? So it's like, I gotta I I got keep finding these ways with my gear and my equipment to get this threat level down. And as I work towards solving one problem, a new one arises. Skyrim's very good at that. And I think it goes a little bit underappreciated when it comes to Skyrim. So guys, Skyrim is fun because there's always the threat of dying when you're fighting people, right? Maybe not a bandit one-on-one, -on -one, right? Like, you're kind of like the frickin' hound in Game of Thrones, where you can just tank through 5,000 people and be fine, right? or anyone that's a main character enough to not get killed in combat in Game of Thrones. But when you're someone like in Skyrim, 
you're less so that god tier person and more so that guy who's just got a little bit more experience than everyone else but if you're an idiot you're gonna get killed so guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below subscribe if you're new for more skyrim videos i'm pacific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i'll see you next episode of stream vlog or instagram post of whatever i decide to make